Okay, this problem is going to involve credit cards, APYs. Steve's credit card statement just arrived. He owes $14.65.78. The interest rate on his card is 15.5% a month. Minimum balance, minimum payment is 4% of the outstanding balance. This is actually what most credit card companies are now charging, 4% of the outstanding balance. It used to be 2%. Obviously, at 2%, you were paying less, but you paid for much longer time, which allowed them to make more interest on you. Okay, at this point, hit pause and work this problem if you know how, and use my working later to check your answer. So we're back, you've worked the problem, and we're going to take a look at it. Minimum payment. We don't need the financial calculator for this. Simply 4% or 0.04 times the balance of 1465.78. And we get a minimum payment of 5863. Okay. What is the APY? Okay, now we will enter the finance calculator. APY is a required government disclosure on most forms of credit. Now here's the thing, APY doesn't really care what your balance is or your minimum payment or anything. Everybody who has the same credit card at the same interest rate will have the same APY and that's why it's a disclosure on the cards. It compares interest on a yearly basis. So what we're gonna do, uh, this, this is a 15.5% a month, so we're gonna put in the proper interest rate, 15.5%. And I'm simply going to assume his balance is $100. It doesn't matter what his balance is. This will make it easier to read in the compounding. And we don't make any payments for APY. We simply calculate the future value. We're just going to see what happens with a balance using the interest rate and the compounding and see how it, what happens to it over a one-year time period. And we get 116.649. So if you started with 100 and it went up to 116.649, the increase is 16.6, basically 65%. And that is our APY, 16.65%. It's not terribly different than our rate, as you can see, but it's always a little bit worse due to the compounding effect. Now, APY on home loans is a bit different. All of the expenses in the loan are added into your debt. And so what basically happens is you take the amount of money you're loaned versus your payments, and you calculate the interest rate over a yearly basis. So it'll be a little higher for things like home loans where there are fees in front, but a credit card doesn't have those kind of fees. Okay, how long would it take this bill off, pay this bill off assuming the minimum payment stayed the same? Now, it won't really do that. If you didn't charge anything else, the minimum payment would go down by 4%, you know, go down each, each month, but we're not going to calculate that. There's no real easy way to do that. So what we're going to do in this case to answer question C is we're going to assume his minimum payment would actually stay the same. Uh, obviously, if, you'd still, if, you, if it goes down each month, it could take you forever to pay this off. Well, let's have a look at this. 1465.78, 15.5%. We'll set the future value to zero. Uh, 12 for monthly on the payment per year and compounding per year, so we're ready. How long? We're going to find out how many of these monthly periods it would take. Okay, did something wrong. Let's go back in here. Oh, we didn't put in the payment. Payment is $58. That's actually a negative 58, and that is important. You'll get the wrong answer if you don't correctly use the signs here. So someone gave you the fourteen sixty five seventy eight you spent, and then you're going to give them money. So the money moves away from you, it's negative. When it came to you, it's positive. And now we'll solve for n. And we find 30.385, 30.39 basically. So 30.39 months. Now obviously you're going to get a, a bill on the 31st month. It'll just be for a small amount since you're going to be at 0.39. It's not going to bill you 20 days into the month, 10 days in or so. So the last bill will simply be a different amount. How much would interest would you pay in C? Well, we'll just use that 30.39 months times our minimum payment, 58.63. And we get the total amount we're going to spend of 1781.77. And that compared to the original debt of 1465.78, we can see that what's happened is we spent a lot of interest by keeping this balance, $315, basically 99 cents worth of interest by paying this thing off slowly the way the credit card wants you to do it since they, that way they can make more money. And that's a lot of interest. That's not even 15%. That's more like, you know, over 20, 2,800, 29, just a little over 20% in interest, even though your balance was going down. And real life would be worse if you made the minimums each month. This 4% payment would actually go down a little bit each month. You would actually end up paying over a longer period of time even more money. 
This is why you want to concentrate on paying all credit cards to zero as fast as possible so the banks don't get to earn a whopping amount of interest on you for very long. Like zero time is actually best.